see their problems compounded in the process. And off against Southampton and Mauricio Pochettino names him there again today with the Ivory Co. Centre half. Ball in that just kept Lorries on his and he lost his balance. Right to the head inside three minutes. Another goalkeeping error for Hugo Lloris who's claiming that he was fouled. But Neil Mope bundles the ball over the line. And Spurs, bad week, has just got worse. It's a catastrophic start for Spurs. I'm not sure what Hugo Lloris has done. I don't know why he's tried to catch it. Right underneath his crossbar, just tip it over the top. Under no pressure, just drops it. That's an absolute shocker, isn't it? I mean, the goals against Bayern Munich, I don't think Hugo Lloris could do anything about. It was clinical finishing from the Germans. This is just a, a big mistake. I mean, as I say, they didn't stop the cross. They did no end on a stretcher and applause for him from all four sides of the ground. Might be pressed into action straight away as well with Connolly in possession here for a Brighton and foul by Sasso. Two here. Free kick swept into Dale Stevens on the edge of the penalty area who met it really sweetly. Another Spurs player down in. Mopay drifting into a wide position. He went too early. He's flagged off. See? Energetic as always, back for Neil Mope. Mope trying to trick his way through. Didn't... They were very impressive in the opening half hour against Bath. Excellent movement from uh, Alzate. The challenge from Eric Dyer was clean. Out of rounds. Soko making his way forward. Through the flag. Away by Moy. And they're coming together off the ball, involving uh, Moke and Vatonga, which has left both players stricken. It was a clash of heads. Just on that Brighton formation, you said uh, how well they're keeping their shape. They are. But it's a different shape in and out of possession. As soon as they... Spurs restored to the full complement of 11. Vatonga back on as Gross gets it over him. And Moke... Now Gross, and he's got time. He picks up Montoya. Penalty was waiting. It's a crucial intervention at the... Here's Connolly. Two to aim at in the centre. It was Mope that was lurking. His first Premier League start of the season. Ericsson. Awkward for Ryan with the dip and the swerve. But he did well to deal with it. The space was there for him. Just to advance and get his shots away. Decent from distance. I see there again Pascal Gross coming off the flank. More centrally trying to allow by finding Davis against two here Mope and Davis has uh, stayed down there Brighton able to bring the ball forward now shove from Sissoko on Connolly that's how the young Irishman saw it not how the referee viewed the uh, same incident obviously the VAR Jared Gillette will be uh, having a look at that incident. Well, Ben Davis can receive treatment now. This is in from Byrne and Connolly is an outstanding stop from Gazaniga. He can't do anything about the follow-up. It's 2-0 to Brighton. Tottenham in crisis. We're just over half an hour in, and Brighton have been too quick, too sharp for Spurs. Thoroughly deserve a two-goal lead. Again, no pressure on the ball, no real pressure. Connolly's first to it, and he also reacts quickest to the rebound. That sums up this opening half an hour. Brighton have been far superior. Spurs second best. And what as well today. Montoya Gross. A little step over from Mo. Gross. Erickson took it off his toes initially. Corner of the afternoon.
twice this season. Soko trying to supply the forward impetus for Tottenham by Burn. Davis heading it away, back in from Martin Montour. Moy. Now Lamella. And still Lamella goes. May have been going wide, but Dunk couldn't take the chance. And it remains 2-0. No matter how bad Spurs have been. Then Spurs giving it away so sloppily. Son. there underneath it Mope knew what was coming oh, it... as Aniga takes a step back Jan Vertonghen has asked a lot of Vendombele far too much teenage debutant has had twice as many shots on target as the entire top finally helps it on it's Dan Burn to push them out and back right and come again with Montoya about that play goes on it's Neil Mope here they come again Mope and Sissoko season for Dyer <laughs> Stevens with a foul on Lamella uh, when the uh, free kick is taken quickly by the Argentinian, Stevens' failure to retreat means he will be booked. Pick one out of the top draw. Wolves stood firm. Here's Connolly. Taking on with a third goal here. In from Gross. Stevens! Well, they tried it in the first half and Vertonghen got in the way. And that time he couldn't keep it down. Spurs have done nothing about it, though. Moyes in there, gets himself isolated against Musa Sissoko again. Uh, Centre-halves forward, it's gross, and it was very nearly in. Spurs won't want to go into it on the back of another defeat. Connolly! Another ball down that channel. Great move. Lamella tried to work the angle, but significantly so many bodies back for Brighton. Opportunity. Still six targets for him. All Son to try and pick out. Dunk on the end of that one as well. Back in from Ericsson, who... I remember this. Sissoko trying to find a way through. It's Son. Missed his kick. Ernest doing his best to uh, get forward in support of Sissoko here. So much of the last five years, completely absent today. But here's Kane. He can't hit the target. A moment that sums up their afternoon. It could have been the merest glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. Last throw the dice from Rizzo po Pochettino. Again, it could have been anyone. Taking it out of Mopé's path. Looking for a fourth. Swept in by Moy. Won't come from that. Out of Varel. Stayed on his feet. And those that looked at the first half hour of the Spurs game against Bayern Munich. Basuma coming on. And Aaron Connolly, we understand, is the player who will be coming. Lamar. Easy for Ryan.